people in the UK are more stretched than ever. And I want to help. I'm on a mission to spread relaxation. My mate Phil is snappy, he's violent, and I need to sort him out. Come on! Hello! I hear that you're feeling a bit stressed lately. Yeah. No, not particularly. I thought, great, I'll get a massage. She started very lightly touching my shoulders in a way that suggested she's not a masseuse. Well, I've got something here. Um, that might help you. This opened a sack. Why are you making that face? <laughs> I'm not sure. mm. oh! And in the sack was a horrible snake. Its eyes were like the dark abyss and it flicked its tongue all the time. I'm okay. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> these are snakes for therapy. Flicking it just involves off. you just lying down and um, I'll put the snakes on your back. You don't do it, I'll do it. Oh, you go first there, Rosie. I've got Smokey on you. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why Rosie is so comfortable with snakes. I think maybe she has the soul of a snake. Mm. He's very good. Royal python. Oh, python, yeah. Hello. The snakes were everywhere. One was just me tooing Rosie across the chest. One was getting inside of her hair. Ah! It's making a cave out of your head. <laughs> I'm like a little disabled Medusa, but more sexy. There's a hole in the middle of the table, which is not good for a snake table. You never want to be in a room where you've lost a snake. Are you feeling any better about the idea of this? No. <laughs> Bill, you're a coward. I just got a lot of shit thrown my way by Rosie and Sue. Sue joined in, sort of calling me a little bitch. You're a coward. <laughs> well, this isn't helping, Sue. Well, I'm not going to be bullied. I'm not going to be bullied into being covered with snakes. Not well. again. She just kept cussing me out. Is this erotic for them, Sue? Is this like an orgy for them? <laughs> mm, I don't even want to ask. Rosie had a, a snake sex party on her back. It relaxed her, because she's a pervert. So he's tucked inside there. Rosie, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's a hemipenes, so it's not... A hemipenes. It's double, like a fork tongue, and it's fork penis. Oh. <laughs> so he's got a hemi. Hello. Hello. Hi, my name's Debbie. I think I need a direct way to boost Phil. We're very needle. Having needles put in you must be the least relaxing thing imaginable. Have you ever heard of, like, just a spa day? Get your hand out. No, I don't know what's in there. It's Can basically we... got vitamins and amino acids. Great. I have no interest in trying the IV drip. No, no offence, Debbie. It's just you're dressed very casually for someone <laughs> administering <laughs> intravenous drugs. <sighs> If you don't do it, I'll do it. OK. It's a secret of mine, but I really like needles. OK, here we go. Mm -hmm. The feeling when they go in... Oh, yes, please! I think I saw her cum face. You made a face of ecstasy when that needle went into your arm. I give her blood for me. <laughs> oh, my God! Why did she kill me of their palsy? Don't, don't get her hopes up, Debbie. I Excellent. really hope it doesn't, because I get a lot of work milking their policy. Can you imagine you without the sympathy? I would not have agreed to any of this. No. I'd be in prison. <laughs> She's enough of a nightmare, let alone with extra nutrients in her. I don't think you guys know what you've unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Today's stretch fell. I got one more thing we can try. Hello. 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 Is she called Bio Dancer? Welcome. We are going to dance this afternoon. And as we move, begin to make eye contact. The guy leading the dance class said this was a special type of dance that would help me reconnect with my soul. And I don't want to do that. Come on, Phil. Relax. It's not a very good dancer. I'm quite out of the eye contact and touching. I touch people a lot. <laughs> so I could touch people and no one got angry. The leader has a real nice quality to him. He's very open, he's very friendly. And when I was dancing with him, I felt a little connection there. He's got really lovely blue eyes. But I've watched too many Netflix documentaries not to recognize a cult leader when I see one. <laughs> and I felt so connected with my body and the world around me. It was incredible. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this point, from this space of softness, is there anything anybody needs? Yeah, it could really help fill his stress. When Rosie said she had a special surprise gift for me, and then the leader said, we're going to give you a love shower. Oh. Move your glasses for this. I was prepared for the worst. Considering what I initially thought a love shower was, the reality of it was a relief. They did look a bit awkward, but it wasn't for it. I couldn't completely relax because I was worried that if I opened my eyes, they'd just be all like in my face, licking my ear or something. You know, I felt like there was a real hunger in that room. It's really a change, man. You know, I'll end today a richer, fuller person. I guess I've got Rosie to thank for that, but I'll never tell that to her face. I hoped one stretch man, and now it's like a ripple of this stretch the whole world. We're gonna need more snakes.